How are you, mate? How you doing? Hello, everyone. Hello, everyone. It is me, Jer Gaming here, and welcome to some Splatoon 2. Relieving stress. <laughs> For the weapon randomizer. My first S plus match to something very, very random. Through a video called the. That's a weapon that's way too. I'm doing this like five in the morning. What the?
Come on. Also, come on, look at that snow right there, just that, that one lonely snow right there, just that one lonely snow. So, we're at that time of the year, the time where, uh, the time where 2018 has come to an end, and again, more lonely snow over there. But just think about it, just, just take a moment, let's think about it for a second. Isn't it kind of weird that... We thought 2018 was going to last so much more longer. And here we are, literally a little less than a week. Well, actually, the time I'm recording this, we have a little less than a week. But the time this is published is probably already like days before 2018 is over. Or maybe even it is over at the moment. But um, I just want to say to you guys all out there, Merry Christmas, Happy New Year. I hope you had more than an enjoyable uh, 2018. 2018 has been really spicy. It's been spicy indeed. You don't know whether if it's good, you don't know whether if it was bad. There were so many things that just happened to the Toon community, and, and there were so many things that happened to gaming as a whole, which I guess I might as well go over. Splatoon community. Oh boy, that went to very many deep ends, I say. And I mean very many. <laughs> like, let's think about it. Heavy the Squid, Omega the Squid, Rex Legend, and Ellie Gadelia, and all those types of people that you know uh, <laughs> are gone. Rex Legend, is, Rex Legend is gone because he thought that his videos weren't good enough to just be shared. And then you have uh, Heavy the Squid, Omega the Squid Man, and, and Ellie Gadelia, which are... Uh, They've been exposed. Let's just go with that. They've been deeply exposed. There's a lot of things that have been deeply exposed in the Splatoon community. And it's kind of funny, to be honest. And yet, we're still living in a community where we think it's fine. I mean, we all know that there is no such thing as a perfect community. Especially in this one, but... It's just relatively hilarious. And I don't know what to say other than... It, it just happens. Things just happen all the time. So, that's just my thing. Splatoon community... It's definitely uh, dropping down by a lot. But then you have other things that have been really good. You've had movies, you've had gaming. Uh, lots of things have happened. Actually, there's a lot of things that are both strange and good at the same time. You have games like Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. You have, uh, you have the ending updates of Splatoon 2 with this new variety of weapons. It's all coming to an end. But yet, yeah, we're all still excited for something. And then you have movies like Avengers Infinity War or, um, what else? There, there are definitely some more movies. Ant-Man and the Wasp or, um, I don't know. Just just many more. I'm not really the, that much of a movie person myself, so it's just like, why bother? <laughs> more lonely snow. But I mean, it's, uh, it's been a real pleasure with you guys. It's been a real pleasure trying to... Uh, make as much content as I can on 2018. Now I think about it, there's a lot of things I've got to talk over about myself. Maybe not as much, I don't know. I'm not really into talking that much, so I just don't know. 2018 with my YouTube channel. My YouTube channel has always been this uh, constant, um, ongoing thing where I thought I would never get that popular by any chance, or it was just like, it was like, I thought there was like barely any chance of me getting somewhere but 2018 this year has specifically done so much for me and I don't know what to say other than thank you guys so much legit like 3,300 subscribers maybe it's not as much as other youtubers that we all know and love but I honestly never thought it would get this far I honestly never thought there was there was such thing as my YouTube channel getting even over a thousand. I thought there was no such thing as even my channel growing by the slightest. And it's because there are so many things that I've done that I've tried to, you know, keep it growing, but it just growed by the littlest bit or it even declined at one point. 
And now here we are. Here I am, walking in the middle of the street, realizing I'm running a YouTube channel with over 3,000 subscribers. I don't know what to say other than thank you guys. It's really been a pleasure uh, making content for you guys. It's really been a pleasure doing as much as I can for you guys. And uh, it means a lot. It absolutely means a lot. So, yeah. 2019. I feel very positive that's what all you guys are wondering. How that's going to look. Well, I don't know what to say about 2019 other than um, I might take a lot more frequent breaks, I would say. And there is one thing that I've learned a lot. When you make something, you plan something, don't expect to always uh, go with it 100% of the time. That's something that I've learned a little frequently, and that's something that I've learned out through this year. There's a lot of things I've learned out through this year, and that has been more than helpful for me. I've learned that it's, it's really difficult to keep promises on a growing channel. I've learned that Con I've learned that constantly making videos front and back, right or left, is uh, exhausting, and I just gotta tone it down a little bit. That's that's just what I gotta do. I just have to tone it down a little bit. I've done way too much for my channel, and I think I can just just take a little break. Maybe like an entire January. That's the break. May I don't know. I don't guarantee I'm gonna take a break for the entire January. Maybe even just the first week or so but that's what I'm gonna be doing I'm gonna try to make sure that um, whatever I do next year won't be as stressful as it was this year even though this year what it meant a lot to me but who knows maybe <laughs> maybe 2019 might be something even more special who knows who knows what could happen 2019 so more lonely snow that's all like you gotta see is the more lonely snow. So, don't know what's gonna be happening in 2019, but all I can guarantee you is, um, I just hope it won't be stressed out as much as I was this year. Maybe I can even meet some more people, who knows? But, seriously, this year has been a pleasure, guys, and I hope I can do better next year. So who knows? Do you think we can do it? Do you think we can hit? over 10,000 by the end of next year. Do you think that's possible? Well, I guess we'll find out. See you later, guys. Goodbye. Hope you have a holly jolly Christmas. <laughs>